obviously a cliche there's no way I had to, I had to stick it in uh, so we are going to uh, the book signing in Ebervale today by uh, local lad Nathan Webber and Nathan should be on the line uh, good uh, morning Nathan good morning Guy yeah so uh, welcome welcome to uh, normally at this point I say welcome to Wales but uh, you're already in Wales and in fact you're usually, usually in Blaine Gwent as well yes that's right yeah I've Ebervale by myself so grew up in Ebervale um, currently living in Cardiff because I've uh, graduated from university fine art school and yeah I've never left <laughs> so uh, talking about uh, art where did it all start for you then um, was it traditional paint and, pe- and pencils and things or was it always a bit wacky yeah pretty much um, I chose art for GCSE and um, I, I was always I don't know, it was kind of quite dark art I guess growing up and then I sort of thought there must be a little bit more to this and I started uploading videos in time lapse onto YouTube when YouTube first sort of started to come about in about 2007 and got quite a good response from my celebrity portraits and I uploaded a, a video of Simon Cowell with Marmite on Toast which was inspired by um, a headline saying you love him or you hate him so I thought about Marmite that got such a brilliant response that I thought maybe there's something in this sort of weird food art kind of stuff and I haven't looked back since and of course you you went on Principal Talent, people remember you off that as well, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's right, uh, 2011, so it's a good five years ago now, um, but it doesn't seem that long, it seems like yesterday, but yeah, I got to the semi-final, um, sadly the semi-final thing didn't quite go as pl- to plan, but sort of left with my head held high and knew that you know it was a brilliant platform and i got to keep, keep working at this, and it's been pretty much non-stop, full-time career since, so I've been, been really blessed. And of course, uh, uh, a lot of the celebrities really love love it. They've seen loads of pictures of you presenting uh, artwork to people like Status Quo and things like that. Um, have you had anybody who didn't quite get it? No, actually, thankfully. Um, <laughs> I well, not to my face anyway. I don't know whether they turned around afterwards and were a little bit like, "Oh, I don't know what that what that geezer's done with my face." But <laughs> but generally, they've all been really really positive. And the Status Quo one was a dream come true for my dad because he's he's followed them since since he was a, a child so and to get them to him to meet them as well alongside because of my artwork was probably one of my proudest moments as a as a son as well as an artist oh, great stuff in it so what is your um your your favorite one of the old ones you've done um oh there's, there's quite a few i quite enjoy using really sort of foodie things like pizzas and baked beans and stuff like that um but probably still the original marmite on toast time and cowl because that's kind of where it started from but then I do quite like to go a little bit political now and again as well I did one of Margaret Thatcher after she passed away using Welsh coal which had you know quite quite a positive and sometimes um, controversial response I also did a portrait of Rupert Murdoch um, at the height of the News of the World phone hack scandal using images of all the um, celebrities and just um, normal people that were victims of the phone hack scandal that got front page of the Guardian. So to walk into the shop and see my sort of hard work front page of one of the country's biggest newspapers was was a massive highlight for me. And of course, uh, with the, the politics and the things like the the pop culture stuff, uh, Andy Warhol, I've got to loom large in, in your uh, in your life, I would imagine. Definitely, um, I kind of share um, a sort of very sort of similar sort of obsession, I guess, with sort of pop culture and sort of just sort of. Sometimes the most light, the more light-hearted things in life. Um, the news can always be so serious and quite quite glum sometimes. And I quite like the idea of when a fun or inspirational news article pops up, that it just sort of lightens up the the viewer or the reader a little bit. And I'd like to think that when people see a fun portrait of a celebrity made out of food or fake tan or something, they just sort of they get the humour of it and it just cheers them up a little bit. So. Yeah, it's, it's Andy Warhol, definitely one of the biggest inspirations. I've got his portrait tattooed on my arm. Um, his image of Marilyn Monroe is the front cover of my book. So it's just sort of paying homage to the inspiration that he's given me. Uh, you took the bait lovely then. So talk, talking about the bait, the, the book, uh, is a book signing today over in your hometown in, in the Carvey Cafe in uh, the EVI. Uh, what, what's, what's happening and what time have people got to be there? Yeah, um, it's yeah in the EVI in the cafe um, from 1 to 3 p.m. today. I'll hopefully be making a bit of live coffee art as well, which would be quite cool. Um, but it's the signing of my book, which I released in December, um, with a Cardiff publisher called Candy Jar Books. And it's 80 of my favourite portraits up to 
up until last year, so I've obviously done quite a lot since, but they'll hopefully be in the next book. But and just sort of the little sort of twenty page autobiography at the start about my life and career to date and all the quotes from the celebrities and different stuff that I've gathered along the way. So I'm really proud of it and it'd be great to um see some of the some of the people that followed my work from my hometown. So it's always brilliant to come back and things like the Gwent Gazette and things have always been so supportive, so it'd be great to get something back. What what I, I I've been thinking about, like you see some people live they make a, a painting and it lasts yeah. hundreds of years. Uh, you you making something and you know it's only going to last uh, in some cases a week at the very most. So how how does it you feel when you actually create in that that it's not going to last? Um, to begin with, it, it was quite quite a difficult thing to sort of to deal with. It, it was quite sad then when I had to. I usually give a, give them either to pigs or horses to eat with things like the toast and stuff because they're obviously they can just be eaten and sometimes food recycling. Um, but I kind of sort of developed. I sort of thought that it was quite a a quirky take on pop culture and today's sort of throwaway society and how things are so fast paced and if one celebrity is say too old to act or sing that certain part again, they're almost sort of thrown on the trash pile and replaced by someone younger and better looking and so it's it's kind of a common sort of a quirky take on pop culture these days. I sort of got over the sadness of having to throw them away because of that. But some of them they do they do keep things like Fake tan dries like a paint. Um, coffee dries quite nice as well. So some of them I do get to keep, but otherwise I'll just make high resolution prints of them and display them in exhibitions as prints. And of course, you do now uh, back to your time lapse. You've seen some videos. I've just seen you do a, a Justin Bieber one as well. So there's good performance art in there as well. It is definitely for for me. It's all it's quite a lot about the process and sort of the you know allowing people to see me doing that which is where YouTube is so brilliant um, and because I was getting a lot of questions people asking how do you do it how long does it take things like that so I just thought well I may as well show everyone and that's where YouTube has been brilliant the Justin Bieber one is actually a portrait of I, I'm wearing lipstick and I'm actually kissing the canvas which is quite cool and um, it's just different fun ways of making art and making people think outside the box and I, I just enjoy it so much and it, it lead, everything always leads on to something which is brilliant so I might have some work coming up in Hong Kong because of that lipstick portrait with a lipstick company so it's, it's always good fun and it's, it's going it's all going in the right direction so I'm really pleased yeah I think I believe you must be an odd man's dream for you no know, some outside the box for them isn't it definitely and so I've got sort of commissions from all these brands to do advertisements and PR stunts things like Hovis Bread Costa Coffee Starbucks um, this lipstick company, company hopefully, and also TV shows are still showing interest. I was in London yesterday. I had to do some pizza art for Anton Deck Saturday Night Takeaway, which will be shown on their show tonight. So that's pretty cool. And got to meet some of the loose women and stuff yesterday as well. So there's still a little bit of interest within TV, and hopefully it'll, it'll keep going. You know, I'm still every time I do something, I'm very aware that it could always be the last, you know, impressive thing that I do, but. Um, I'm still quite humble, and I enjoy I enjoy it as much as I did when I started five six years ago. And I seen some photographs. Was that at the Brit you were recently? Yes, yeah, so I, I really enjoyed that. That that was more for for pleasure than work, but it, it, it was brilliant. Yeah, bumped into Dermot O'Leary and Kim Wilde, 80s pop singer. So it's it's always brilliant, and I sometimes burn the candle at both ends and party as hard as I work. But you're only young once, I guess. <laughs> I tell you what, what is, is strange that today you're coming up from Cardiff to Abervale to a cafe uh, or restaurant and then the other week I went down from Brumau to uh, a restaurant in Cardiff and uh, stick of the art and I was wa- walking around and it, like a capsule full of your uh, some of your work and dedicated to you that must be quite an uh, uh, achievement it really is yes and it's, it's just the, br- the, the, the cool thing with it is that it does lend itself to so many different things and when that new, I saw the new quirky um, state of the art was opening in Cardiff and thought, I, I've got to get something in there somehow. So I filled out one of the application forms to have one of the, the six booths that they were offering to local artists, and they jumped straight on it. So I think there's about 20 of my favourite food art prints in there. And so people get to sit and enjoy some, some lovely food and look at really quirky portraits at the same time. So it lends itself to, to restaurants and, ev- and absolutely anything. So it's, it's, it's just, just great fun so if 
people can't make it today to the to Abbeville to to. to